I'm in position! Assume the position! For the mission, the mission position. Are you sure this will work, Big Sausage? No, we're, uh, are you sure this will work? I can't believe they won't hear you. Trust me, these air communicators are top of the line. We use them for track and field events at the gym. I still say we should make a code word just in case. Fine. If I can hear you and the anarchist just fine, I'll say rock. If I can't hear anything, I'll say paper. If there's a problem out here, I'll say scissors. Got it? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> rock means good, right? If she can't hear, it's paper. How am I going to know? How sh will she know if she can't hear or not? Because she won't be able to hear. And scissors is, oh, yeah. I got it. Here goes nothing. What pizza delivery? I didn't order any pizza. I know you didn't. It's a free complimentary pizza. You know our way of apologizing because your pizza was late the other day. Rock. That means everything's good. Oh, wow. That's unexpected and nice. Shall I come inside and put the pizza down somewhere? That's why we can't ever come inside. Well, he always wants the pizza put on the ground. That's not necessary. I can take the pizza myself. But I, or, um, did we not make a plan better than this? What is it? Or I gotta go to the bathroom really bad, buddy. Sign it. Fine, whatever. You can come in. Just do me a favor. You did just do me a favor, I guess. Come on in. All right, I'm in. I wish they had the cat president right there. Oh, is this in the same universe as cat president? You're what? Big sausage, don't be stupid and talk to me while he's within earshot. Er, sorry, er, I really gotta go. Oh, my pee pee. Where's the bathroom at? <laughs> Down the hall to the left. Do not go in the room at the end of the hall. Got gotcha. This isn't the least bit creepy. Cute cats, though. I'm alone now. He's putting the pizza away in the kitchen. I got two minutes at most. I can hear you, but I can't see you. What's going on? It's a hallway. Lined with kitty cat photos. I see three doors. Which one do I go through? Which one did he say was forbidden? I'm guessing it's the one at the end. It's locked with some kind of numpad. Do you have any idea what the password is? No. Then go through the other doors. I'll take the first door on the left then. Might be cat. Chomper! Oh, Chomper! Chomper, stop! Chomper, lie down! Chomper! No, no! You're trying to break into the lab! Lab? No, I just got lost searching for the bathroom. I don't know anything about no lab that I'm looking for. I mean, I don't know about it. I knew this was a trick. Whoever heard of a pizza place giving someone free pizza without contacting them first? I'm locking you up with the other hostage. Aw, oh, shit. He's typing in the password to something. 317. I missed the first part. Well, there's only 10 permutations then. If you only need to figure out one digit. Aw, oh, cute kitty, hi. You know what? Prison in a psycho's place isn't so bad with cute kitty picture. Well, that went poorly. I'm sorry, future me. You you came here to save me? That's so noble and really stupid. Very stupid. Now that I have both of you in custody, no one's protecting the apartment. We can break in and take that phone now. No, you can't. Scissors! Scissors! Oh, yeah, baby. You do that. Oh, wait. That means there's a problem outside. There's code for problem outside. What is it, a security alert? So you weren't alone? Oh shit, this is bad, really bad. Bad. Crap, I gave you the wrong one. Big sausage, quick! Press the microphone on your ear and say rock, paper, scissors. What? What? You're talking to someone, aren't you? You are in a wire! Hand it over now! Rock, paper, scissors! Rock, paper, scissors! Jesus? Is that you? 
Is this a time machine earpiece? How convenient. Man, these are killer earpieces they use for track and field. Booty shot. Is this, this is the right place? Whoa, uh, like, uh, what just happened? Huh? I, you, did, did I teleport port by playing rock, scissors, paper, scissors? Shoot, I was worried this would happen. Uh, what, what, what just happened? I guess there's no use in pretending now. Did you invent time travel? You just traveled back in time, big sausage. What? What? I'm not really an aerobics instructor. I'm a member of the Time Police. You mean Time Cop was real? I didn't think it was that good of a movie, but sorry, I didn't mean to dishonor the Time Police. I came here to stop your future self from ruining this timeline. You can't be. Serious? I am. I'm hoping to stop him before he made contact with you, but I didn't have enough information to go on. All I knew was that he arrives here by accident sometime this month. So I came here at the start of the month and spent every day at the safe house, waiting for him to trip one of our temporal sensors. That's why I ordered pizza every day, by the way. I wanted to have as little contact with the outside world as possible. Maintain the integrity of the timeline, you know? And that's why you were flirting with me. It was all part of your assignment, I see. That's, that's the... Whoa, flirting? Uh, no way. Definitely not flirting. Don't be gross. Oh, come on, girl. Big sausage ain't that bad. Yeah, right. <laughs> ah, yeah, it was just a joke. Oh, man, big sausage. You girl flirting with me for real. I knew. I knew it was too good to be true. But yeah, you were the only person I talked to in weeks. I was getting a little desperate for human contact. Oh, great. But breaking into an anarchist hideout to rescue a hostage, yes, that was for my mission. That's going a little beyond doing a favor for a friend, you know. Yeah, right, um, yeah, not flirting at all. Um, no, no, I guess I should have suspected you agreed when you agreed to help me with this. No, don't be, I deal with paranoia and suspicion a lot in my line of work. Trust me, you don't want that. So, um, uh, what do we do now? You tell me, what happened in there? I pretended I had to go pee pee in the bathroom and he let me in. There are three doors in the hallway, chomping the guards in the first one. He barked at me and then I got caught. Future me is in the back one, but it's locked with an access code. Some, some. Oh shit, there's two numbers and then 317? 317. I don't know what's behind the other door. Okay, this time I'll go in. But I did okay last time. I can go through the far door in. No, it's too dangerous. You've already been caught once. And besides, I'm a professional. I guess you're right. No, Big Sausage, you do it. It's your future self. But she's a time cop. She might arrest you in the future. In the not past. All right, same code words as before. Rock, paper, scissors. How do you know that? I always use the same code words. Makes things easier. Now let's see if your information is correct. Crap, his voice and her voice are too similar. Hello! Hi, this is the Big Bite place, right? What? Who are you? Rock. <laughs> Rock, it's all good. Yeah, all good, you know what I'm saying. I'm also a part of Big Bite. The others sent me here to deliver some cats to you for the experiment. All right, she's already smarter than me. Ah, uh, yes, thank you so much. You've been running low on cats. Kitty cats. Any chance I could come inside and see your progress? Of course. Uh, let me take you into the cat lab. I'm Daddy Gore, by the way. Al Gore's grandchild? Who are you? You can call me Slice. Well, Slice, as you know, we're trying to make hyper-intelligent cats capable of human thought and emotions. The drug testing is going bad and the brain surgery is promising. Wait, is this a prequel to Cat President? Because something happened to make cats super intelligent. You can see one watching right now. I think this is a prequel to Cat President. Secret lore. Too bad most of them die during surgery. Or wait, or was it humans turned into cats? I think both were possible. 
The one that survived less than three days and it made some interesting yells. Maybe it was trying to speak to us. Maybe. Man, experiment, I can't kill them. These guys is insane. I wish I could see what's going on though. Did they go through the third door? Here are the logs. You can look over them while I get the cats inputted into our system. What are today? Why are today's logs blank? There was a major security breach. Someone tried to break in and stop us. Oh? It was a time traveler from the future. Get real, man. Get real, real. It's true. You should have seen this phone. The technology is so far ahead of what we have now. It's amazing. We'll have to get our hands on it. It'll help us destroy the internet. And who knows? It could help us with the cat project, too. Why don't you have the phone now? We captured the intruder and locked him up, but he set off some kind of phone security program. We don't know how it works, but it sent a signal to a certain apartment. Oh man, that's my apartment. I'm guessing he has a backup phone there. And what you know, the guy who lives there is a perfect double of the hostage. It might not be time travel, but it's certainly worth investigating. Perfect double? He's like 30 years older than I. I don't look that old, do I? Shithead. It'd be funny if he heard Big Sausage complaining about that, like, through the window. So what's the plan? I called the guy who lives there, telling him to give us the phone number at midnight, or else, or the phone at midnight, or else we'll kill the hostage. When he shows up to make the drop-off, we capture him and the phone. And the prisoner? He's in the secured room. He keeps refusing to talk to me. I bet he'll change his mind when I kill his past self right in front of him. You're not really smart, are you, Donnie the Hacker? Because you let this woman in without any proof. No, I can't have my future me. Wait, I can't have my current me killed in front of my future me. Oh, my brain. What was that? Nothing? That was. You're in an earpiece. You've been recording the whole conversation, haven't you? No wonder you've been so nosy. You're trying to rescue the hostage. Oh, shit. Scissors! Scissors! Oh yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Wait, that means there's trouble outside, but you're inside. You'll never stop us. Do you hear me? We'll destroy you and take over your puny planet. Oh, uh, what's wrong? What's going on? Paper! Paper! The passcode is 41 or 49317. Well, she didn't say the seven part, but I remember the seven part from earlier. Stop! Finley! Finley! I see the intruder now! I see the intruder now! What'd I do? What'd I do? I'll bring him right in! Were you guy in the, the guy in the park who tried to take my pizza? Press the earpiece. She said, "Press the earpiece." Saying, "What do I do?" Uh, you gotta say. I think it's the pizza dude. I think it's M Murphy McMurferson. I want to offer him a pizza because I think that solves everything. But let's go back in time. Rock paper scissors. Rock paper scissors. See a space loser. <laughs> It'd be funny if he punches us before we transform through time. So I think I wrote the number down correctly. This is the place, right? The right place? I got the passcode. It's 49317. What? Passcode to the room. Mm -hmm. Where is holding future me is 49317. Future you? What are you talking about? Don't pretend, Finley. I know you're part of them time police. You told me after we got caught the first time. I see. You activated the emergency transport mode. I've done it twice now. I know how it works. I'm a tra tra traveler. Shouldn't the timeline be destroyed by now? It's in this bracelet. What? 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 This is the emergency system. It's like a beacon. Except it works with time. I activated it when I was talking to you just now. So if anybody uses the emergency earpiece, they get sent back to that moment that you activated the beacon? Exactly. That's not the right terminology, but that's basically the idea. It's like a save point in a video game. You create a save point because you knew it would be dangerous. <laughs> save point. 
Um, okay, that's definitely not the right ideology or terminology. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. It's a save boy. It's a game. You can explain it to me when we got enough time, but I get it. It's a save point. Uh, no, we, no, we don't. It'll take at least an hour to explain how time travel works. So go ahead and explain it. Then I'll use the reset button to take me back here when we're done. It's not a toy, Big Sausage. <laughs> Do you know how difficult it is to... No, no, of course you don't. Never mind. The point is, we're here to save your future self, not to satisfy your intellectual curiosity. Or why are you so angry? Because somebody just blew my cover. The mission was supposed to be top secret and... Yeah, yeah, gotcha, whatever. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> I told you, don't. I like big sausage. He's like, oh, that woman's yelling at me. I just go back in time not to have to deal with it. That married couple could have used it that was constantly bickering. Give it to one or the other. This is the place, right? Better pretend I don't know what's going on. Well, what what just happened? I don't I don't know what. I don't just have I don't pass. I don't have the passcode. What do you What do you mean? I mean you're inside the building right now. You told me to press the earpiece and say code words. Did I Did I just teleport or something? I ain't done this three times. I mean what? Shoot, I was worried this would happen. You just traveled back in time, big sausage. Oh, what? What, like a save point? I mean, what? I'm not really an aerobics instructor. I'm a member of the time police. I came here to eat pizza and kill bad guys. Blah, blah, blah. But I'm out of pizza. You already know the stuff. You heard it earlier. Blah, 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 blah. Saving the world. Blah, blah, blah. Temporal sensors. Let's talk about something more interesting. Did I mention I've got a lot of cute friends who all want to date you? What? Yeah, it's true. After you save the world, every girl wants to date you. You never spend a lonely night at home watching TV and eating cold pizza again. Oh, man, but I love pizza that's cold. Big Sausage, are you paying attention? Oh, uh, wait, huh, what? I'm gonna get ladies. You spaced out there for a moment. Sorry, it's, uh, it's the stress of the situation, you know. Anyway, I was saying, uh, you learned that my future self is locked room, which has the past... Word 49317. In the end, Big Sausage is actually kind of smart. There was, uh, like, right before you got caught or something, uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, alternate me. So where's the locked room? Uh, you didn't get a chance to look around and explore. This guy, Donnie, took you straight to the lab. Shoot. Uh, let me go this time. I'm, I bet I could find it, even though I have not, I have not been in there. No way, it's too dangerous. I already got caught once. Right, you got caught. I can distract him. I'd never get caught. Oh, wink. Yeah, I got pizza. Fine, but this time, I get the correct earpiece. I'll decide when to reset this mission. Fair enough. Uh, let's do this. No, no! We need the time traveling earpiece. What? Pizza delivery? I didn't order any pizza. Er, it's like a. Uh, hmm. Free complimentary pizza from Proud City, because uh, we apologize that yeah, your pizza was late the other day, because I went to the uh, Amish country. Oh, wow, that's unexpected and nice. It sure is. Uh, maybe you can return the favor and let me use your bathroom. I got to piddle out of the wee-wee. You know how it goes. Eh? I got to go bad. It's real bad. Yeah, I don't normally let people in here, but you did do me a favor. Okay. Why well, you sound different every time I talk to you? Shut up! <laughs> Thanks so much. Where is that bathroom? Down the hall to the left. Do not go in the room to the right. Gotcha. Go in the room in the right. Hello, kitties. I'm all alone. He's putting pizza away in the kitchen. I see a locked door in front of me. Try to open it. Four nine three one seven. Done. I'm in. What? Big Sausage, is that you? Hey, I'm here to help you, me. Come on. Oh, that's a cute kitty over there. But how did you... There ain't no time to explain. We gotta get you out, and I'm gonna get ladies. Let's go before somebody notices it, bro. Me, me, bro. Whatever you say, man. Whatever I say. It's confusing. You got him? Good job, Big Sausage. What was... Oh, there you are. Wait, are you done in there? Uh, 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 yeah. 
Oh yeah, just a second, I'll be right out. Oh man, it's a big one. Oh, really struggling with this one. Shoot, the entrance way. Oh wait, wrong one. Shoot, the entrance way is visible from the kitchen. You'll see if you walk out that way. Is there another exit? I have no idea. Okay, then I'll distract the bad guy. Try to block his vision. You sneak out while I'm doing that. Gotcha. I'll follow you in just a second. A second, but... Liberty boy, where are you? Move, big sausage, move! Hurrah! <laughs> Do it, big sausage, you got it. Oh, sorry, man. I was washing my hands. I took a big old dookie. <laughs> Do you live in the colonial period? Because your house looks like... Were you one of the Jamestown settlers? Well, whatever. I had to wash my hands. At work, we're required to wash our hands almost constantly. I understand. So is that everything? Um, not, not exactly. I'm afraid. Um, let's filibuster. Uh, do you want any napkins in place, maybe? No. Uh, what about Parmesan cheese cups, red peppers? I got plenty of them, I do. Mm -hmm. No. What about us? <laughs> I made a baby for them. A side of ranch, then? You wouldn't believe how many people ask for an extra side of ranch. With them breadsticks. Not me, you! I hate ranch! They think the extra ranch is free, but it's not, you know. You gotta pay for it. Common misconception. I don't want any ranch. This one guy last week, he asked for ten different sides of ranch. And he threw a fit, he did. When I said it's 50 cents per cup. That's highway robbery! 50 cents a cup? He could have brought his own damn salad dressing of ranch and brought it in. Like, dude, you ordered a whole bottle of ranch. Of course, that's it's not free. I Substitutions ain't free either. I get so much gut for that. You wanna know. You wanna believe him, mister. It's ridiculous. <laughs> why, would, why would it be free to replace cheapo extra cheese with $5 olives, you know? Yeah, that's almost as bad as there's that lady who insisted on having sliced tomatoes and sent me back to the store because I sliced them wrong. As if that's a thing. She wanted them cut horizontally and vertically. Like, number one, that's diced. Not sliced tomatoes. Number two, you can't just pull a knife out and cut them yourself. Wait, I mean, you can. She could have just pulled out a knife and cut them herself. Don't make me drive an extra half hour from the store just because you're picky. And then your pizza gonna be cold. Will you stop talking? Oh, sorry, man. I get a little talking every time. You know how it goes. Speaking of talking, I know she gotta pay it. Why don't you tell me his life story? I wanna hear everything. Oh, okay. I know what you're doing. You're angling for a tip. You won't leave until I pay you. Is that right? Uh, uh, sir? I don't wanna give tips for free pizza. But here's two dollars. Take it and scram. Uh, thank you very much for choosing Proud City Pizza, home of the... No, future me! Okay, done! What have you done, future me? What? The prisoners escaped! That's not all. I freed the cat, smashed up your computers, computers and set the lab to self-destruct in 30 seconds. Future me has got a real timing issue. My supercomputers! <laughs> what is, is, you gonna go look back there and it's like a Dell? <laughs> I need them to destroy the internet! Self-destruct? Come on, pass me! Let's roll, suck it, nerds! No, you can't do this! My big bite! Yeah, you can bite it, son! Cook, we've got to get out of here! Finley, what are you doing? You- Wait, what? Future me knows her? She doesn't have a ring on the finger, so they're probably not married. I'll explain later, Dad. This is place to go to explode. Oh, no. God. We were hitting on our daughter from the future? It's real Back to the Future stuff. Kind of backwards. Instead of the mom hitting on the son. Oh, God. That could have been bad. Why didn't you tell me? Dirt, dirt, dirt. You didn't tell him? I was going to, but um, I didn't. You don't remember hitting on her in the past, Dad? Me? Oh. No! Sorry, Donnie the nerd. 
That wasn't great! What do you mean, not great? I thought it was amazing! It should be best ending. Yeah, see, I can't believe I had a daughter and you didn't tell me. <laughs> that poor... No wonder why she was grossed out about the flirting part. Oh, man. <laughs> I can't believe my own daughter joined the time police and didn't tell me. I can't believe you got fired and chose to go to the future. Why don't you tell me? You didn't have to go 30 years ahead. You could have moved into my house for a while. I was embarrassed. Plus, I don't want to ruin your life. You never ruined my life. You could never ruin my life, Dad. Except by tampering with the time machine. That was stupid. You're telling me I had no idea they could be configured to go backwards in time. I thought it was stranded here in the past. Yeah. We keep that a secret on purpose. If people knew that time travel to the past was possible, we'd have a lot more work on our hands. I'm still not sure how you managed to get access to the time machine's code, though. It's supposed to be impossible for people to access. You use your last name, too, Finley. Maybe because we're all related and I'm on the time, please? I'll look into it more when we get back. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I gotta get rid of all the evidence of my existence here in this timeline. Please leave us with the money. We lost our job. At least we know then that Big Sausage is going to get a romantic hookup at some point. What about the secret note that you left for your past self? How did you know about that? I've been on the time police for three years. People always leave a secret note that their alternate self can discover. Okay, fine. I'll get rid of that too. No! Damn it, Finley! We could have a better life! Mmm. Hasn't he already changed the timeline a lot, though? I mean, we just stopped Big Bite. I've got the report here on my phone. Big Bite nipped in the bud! He's like, oh, I like getting nipped in the bud. Donnie Gore, leader of Big Bite, was arrested for illegal experiments on cats. Police are still investigating the explosion. And according to this report, three days from now, they'll decide the explosion was the result of the unpredictable lab experiments. Donnie is arrested and sent to psychiatric care by... Ha! Huh. That's one of my pseudonyms. Okay, future me is going to follow through with this and keep Donnie away. Safe where you can't do any harm. Uh, so there won't be a great shutdown in this timeline? I guess not. Or, um, and that won't destroy time as we know it then? Hopefully not. As long as you make sure to never tell anyone anything, Big Sausage is going to tell everybody. Yeah, I promise. Just tell me one thing. What? Uh, so, like, who is your mother? Is it gonna be the lady in the park? Um, are you sure you want me to spoil it for you? It's Shannon, your co-worker at the pizza place. Who's Shannon? I know Olivia, who doesn't ever work. And I know Mike, and I know... The other guy in the red shirt. And I know Ami. Er, uh, Shannon, she's, uh... Er... Uh, I don't know um, on my coworker's name because most of them quit within a month. Which one is she? The snarky teenager? The one with the weird tattoo? Don't tell me it's the pizza roller who tracks dough all over the place. Dad, don't mess with yourself like that. Uh, sorry, sorry. Oh wait, so it's none of them? Future self was just jerking us around? Or was that like a joke or something? <laughs> Yeah, sorry, I'm not gonna tell you who Finley's mother is. That totally ruined the surprise, but I can tell you it's not one of your co-workers. Oh, thank goodness for that. <laughs> Wait, I don't have co-workers anymore. I got fired from that pizza delivery job. So what? You hated that job. Yeah, but I'm broke now. Finley took all that money you made on the stock market. Damn it, Finley. Leave us something. Come on, what the good is time travel if you can't profit from it? I had to confiscate that money because it was evidence for the time police. Plus, I have to pay off all those pizzas I ordered. Hey, you're using it for self-service? Hmm. Uh, well, I'm going to ground you for this in 30 years. Hey, I have a point. Can't you use your time travel magic to get me my job back? That'd be against the time police procedure. But hey, think of it this way. At least you're the pizza delivery boy who saved the world. 
Guy, I'm a, I'm a guy. I'm not a boy. I'm a man. What? Pizza delivery guy. We save the world. I ain't no boy. A year I hate it when hmm, people call me a boy. I am clearly an adult. My balls have dropped. I don't want to hear about that, Dad. Where the have. That's how I must have made you in the future. Okay, like, fine, whatever. You're the pizza delivery guy who saved the world. The point is, you did a really good thing you should be proud of. Uh, and besides, I heard the seafood place on Main Street's hiring. Wait, you know where I work in the future? Oh, wait, is that a hint? Wink, wink. Yeah, I could become the seafood delivery guy. Sweet. Who wants some fish? You like seafood that much? Hey, girls, a step up from pizza delivery. Mm -hmm, I'll take it. Right. And anyway, we should get going. Goodbye, big sausage. It was nice meeting you. How creepy when we were trying to hit on our old child from the future. It was nice meeting you, too. Come back and visit me anytime. Seriously, anytime. I never have any visitors. Good luck, big sausage. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. I mean, I mean, I know you can't do what, whatever. You know what I mean. I do, bye. Is this going to be like Back to the Future when Marty leaves? Finley, that's a nice name. <laughs> well, now that that's over, I think I'll celebrate by never eating pizza again. After nine straight punt months of nothing but pizza, I'm sick of it. That's how I was when I worked at KFC. I didn't have KFC for years afterwards. That was a fun game. That was a good story. Uh, pizza. Oh yeah, sing it. I want a pizza. Pizza guy. Delicious pizza. Pizza you make the New York pizza. I want a pizza. Delicious pizza. Pizza you make the New York. Mix some yeast, water, and flour. Mix and knead for a quarter an hour. Cover with a tea towel. Set aside. Now here's part two. Together garlic and tongs. Leave two stand, shouldn't take too long. Add some basil as an optional extra. Don't forget the salt and pepper. Uh, pizza! I want a pizza! Delicious pizza! Here's how you make the New York pizza! I want a pizza! Delicious Sorry, I didn't want to interrupt pizza. the song. I was also trying to show the credits. So my friend Lauren in the credits. This game was pretty cool. If you want to play it yourself, it's on Steam. Um, I don't know if it's on Ichio or not. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, maybe to Steam or wherever. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Thank you, Argo Fump. Thank you, uh, Mr. Paul Franzen. Sorry, I'm lost in this song. I want to thank y'all for watching. I hope you watched. Or I hope you watched. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a good time with it. Big Sasha Donkerson. I'm a pizza delivery guy. At least I used to be. I worked for a pizza place, but there's all sorts of weirdness with time travel and villains who tried to conquer the world. Plus, their pepperoni pizza wasn't all that good. I gotta say. Mm -hmm. There you are, Dad. I've been looking for you all over. Hey, Finley. You still here? I thought you went back to the future. This is Finley Donkerson. She's my daughter for the future and a member of the time police. Mm-hmm. She's a nice person. But I still find it super awkward that she calls me dad. Hey, I'm Jaws back here. I did go back to the future, but the timeline was all messed up and I came back here to figure out why. The future's messed up how? Do we grow up to be assholes? For one thing, I don't exist anymore. For another thing, 
President Ami has banned all time travel. I almost got arrested. Ami is president? What? Mr. Ami is president in the future? He's not supposed to be. Everything is crazy now. And according to my computer, this is the day that the timelines diverge. You mean... Something I do today is going to change the course of history forever? Exactly! Only I'm going to make sure it doesn't happen. I'm going to preserve the correct timeline, no matter what! Well, thanks for the warning. But I don't think you have anything to worry about. I don't have any plans for today besides training. Training? Yeah, today's the first day of work at the seafood restaurant. Mm -hmm. The store owner. You said I need to meet the shift supervisor and watch some training videos. That's all, nothing too major. That doesn't sound like something that could alter the fate of the planet. Hey, that must be her now. Are you Miss Ames? Is that gonna be your mom? I sure am! Are you Big Sausage? The new employee? What? It can't be! Oh no! Mom? But the two of you aren't supposed to meet for another four years! I don't know, did we advance the timeline by getting it on early? Uh-oh, I think I figured out how we accidentally changed the timeline. By sex and sex in. That was pretty cool. Take it easy, everybody.